Turning overseas now, and the protests in Iran, which are not letting up after the family of a young woman says she was tortured and killed in police custody. It all happened because she was accused of a dress code violation, not properly wearing her hijab. Masha Amini's death has sparked 11 days of protest and counting against the country's religious leaders there. And we found Rami Innocencio in London following it all for us and recently in conversation with Amini's cousin. Rami, good morning. Good morning, Tony. That's right. And there have been protests happening outside of Iran's embassies really around the world, including like here in London. You can actually take a look and you can see the red paint that's splattered on the facade right here. But, you know, all this really doesn't matter when it comes to Iran's government. They really don't care. They're still cracking down. And it was all sparked by the death of one young woman. With defiance and despair. Family, friends, and village neighbors in the thousands buried 22-year-old Mahsa Amini. Her family tells CBS News police killed her. She was tortured, according to eyewitnesses, says Irfan Mortazai, Mahsa's activist cousin in exile in Iraq. She was tortured in the van after her arrest, then tortured at the police station for half an hour, then hit on her head, and she collapsed. Police claim from a heart attack, an official coroner's report pending. Her father says she was beaten to death by morality police, enforcers of Iran's strict dress code. Her head covering reportedly too loose. Masa Amini's death has since become a rallying cry, sparking protests across dozens of cities and towns. Women removing their required head coverings and burning them, their embers and emotions rising into the night skies. Men joining them to protest a regime they all denounce as repressive, on top of crushing sanctions, rising inflation and rampant poverty. Many chant death to the dictator, Iran's supreme leader. Iran's military says they are ready to deal with its enemies. Are the people protesting enemies of the government? The people of Iran want human rights, a peaceful country, and regime change. Of course this is how they're treated. Videos show what appear to be live ammunition, tear gas, and water cannons, and mounting injuries and deaths. The regime has organized pro-government rallies in a public relations pushback and cut access to the Internet to keep people from organizing and sharing videos like these with the world. But protests against Iran's regime have formed from Atlanta to Istanbul, Paris and London. If you could tell the Ayatollah one thing, what would it be? The old dictator is in his last days. And international condemnation continues to rise. President Biden has already sanctioned the morality police in Iran. But Iran, for its part, is actually blaming the West, especially the United States, for its troubles. Gail? These images are very tough to watch. Thank you very much, Ramey.